When developing a WordPress theme, it's useful to consider whether you will need a build process to help you manage your theme's assets and optimize your theme for performance. In this lesson, you'll learn more about build processes, why you should consider using them, and how to set up a basic build process using the WordPress scripts package. A build process is a method of converting source code files into a final build or production version that can be read by the browser. In particular, themes will most often be minifying or converting source code into CSS or JavaScript that can be read by the browser. Depending on what technologies you use in your theme, you may need a build process to help you manage your theme's assets and optimize your theme for performance. For example, if you choose to use SAS files for your styling, you will need a build process to compile your SAS files into CSS that can be read by the browser. If you choose to write your JavaScript using a more modern syntax, you will need a build process to transpile your JavaScript files into a format that all browsers can execute. Even if you don't use these options, a build process can still be useful for optimizing your theme's assets, such as minifying your CSS and JavaScript files and optimizing images. When creating a WordPress theme, you may find yourself in need of a build process to handle more complex projects. There are many systems to choose from and you can use whichever you prefer. But WordPress also offers the WordPress scripts package that you can be assured is continuously updated and should cover most of your needs. Most of WordPress theme development doesn't require any additional software. You just need a code editor, a local development environment, and a WordPress installation. But to work with a build process, there are some other requirements. You need to have Node.js and NPM installed on your local machine, which is also a requirement for building WordPress blocks. You'll need a basic understanding of Webpack and some familiarity with the WordPress scripts package. These are more advanced tools than what is normally required to develop themes, but they are necessary if you want to work with the standard WordPress build process. If you completed the Introduction to Block Development module in the Beginner Developer Learning Pathway, you should already have all the knowledge you need. The WordPress scripts package was originally created for block development. Over time, it has also evolved to work with themes. By default, it expects the development files to live in the source folder and will output the build files into the build folder. However, most theme authors will utilize a custom system for working with assets. Let's say you have the following structure for your theme. Your development JavaScript and SAS files reside in the resources.js and resources SCSS directories. When the build process runs, you want them to be output to the public JS and public CSS folders. Your first step, if you haven't done this already, is to initialize the project. This will create the package.json file in the root of your theme. To do this, open your terminal, navigate to the root of your theme folder, and run the following command. npm init. You will be prompted to enter some information about your project. You can press enter to accept the default values or change the values to your liking. Once you have completed the setup, you will have a package.json file in the root of your theme directory. Next, you need to install the WordPress scripts package as a development dependency. To do this, run the following command in your terminal in the root of your theme directory. npm install at WordPress scripts path webpack remove empty scripts dash dash save dev. Once that's done, you'll see the package.json file has been updated with the new dependencies and a new node modules folder has been created, which houses the dependencies. Last but not least, update the scripts section of the package.json file to include the following. This creates two npm script commands, start and build, 
that will run the WordPress scripts package with the correct configuration for your theme. In this case, it will look for files in the resources folder and output them to the public folder. If you have a different folder structure, you can adjust the Webpack source dir and output path parameters to match your setup. The WordPress scripts package is built on top of Webpack. If you were building a block, everything would be in place for you. However, because you're building a theme, you need to overwrite some default configuration of the WordPress scripts package with your own. To do this, create a custom webpack.config.js file in the root of your theme. And then add the following code. The custom webpack config can be found in the configuring webpack section of the build process page under the advanced topic section of the WordPress developer handbook. This configuration file sets up the entry points for your custom JavaScript and SAS files and tells Webpack where to find them. It also configures the Webpack remove entry scripts so that there are no leftover JavaScript files mapped to your CSS. With everything set up, you can now run the build process. To start the development server, run the following command in your terminal. npm run start. This will start the development server and watch your files for changes. When you make changes to your JavaScript or SAS files, the build process will automatically recompile them. If you have a look at the public folder in your theme, you will see that it has created the relevant files. To build your theme for production or to be released, run the following command in your terminal. npm run build. You have already learned how to enqueue scripts and styles in your theme in the lesson on including assets. When using a build process, you will need to enqueue the compiled files instead of the source files. If you open up the public JS folder, you will see that the build process has created the following files, editor.js and editor.asset.php. The asset.php file returns a PHP array which contains an array of dependencies and a version number for the editor.js file. You can then use this array to enqueue the script in your theme. First, use the relevant hook and specify the hook callback function in your functions.php file. So add action enqueue assets and then create the callback function. Inside the hook callback, include the asset file and pass the contents of that file to a variable. Finally, enqueue the script using the values from the asset file. Your final code should look something like this. This process is similar for any other JavaScript or stylesheet files that you want to enqueue from the build process. For the full guide on how to set up the build process using the WordPress scripts package, you can refer to the build process page under the advanced topics section of the WordPress developer handbook.